Welcome back, guys, to another week of Camp House Barbecue. Hey, guys, on this episode, we went ahead and we made some machitos. Now, for those of you who don't know what machitos are, I'm going to explain to you. So, y'all seen me uh, done cabrito, which cabrito is succulent goat. But with this part, it's the intestines of the goat. So, it's your heart, your liver, your lungs. And then they use the layer that covers the, the stomach. It's like a, a fatty layer. It's like a net. And they stuff, they dice all that, stuff it up, and then use the small intestine to wrap all that together into like a meat burrito. So, we went ahead. I got my new pups crying over here. Uh, we went ahead and we grilled some of those. We made a salsa, some grilled onions with some lime, some butter. And let me tell you what, guys, it was phenomenal. Y'all hear my new dog? We got some new dogs. Y'all are going to be seeing them a lot at the ranch. So uh, we did some machitos, some salsa, some tacos, and some little venison sausage we had on the side. Guys, let me tell you, this thing was awesome. Y'all probably wondering why I'm inside the house. We're working on injections. Um, we got a competition coming up. Uh, we actually leave tomorrow. It's pouring down rain right now, so I'm working on injections, trimming meats. I got the trailer loaded up yesterday, but right now it's pouring down. So we'll be in Uvalde tomorrow for a CBA cook-off. Um, we'll be doing pork butts, chicken, uh, brisket, and ribs. So we'll see how that goes. But this is my video, my take on grilled machitos. Hopefully y'all enjoy it. Ya tirar botes, no hay más, guys. Cheers. Now that we got our machito out at this point, guys, all we're going to do is we're going to season them with some Uncle Steve's cow shake, cow powder competition, um, and then with some El Boss mix from Los Tres Locos, a company out of Laredo, Texas. Uh, I'd like to thank Uncle Steve and Los Tres Locos for sending me this product. And I'm tell you what, guys, this is award-winning products that we've been using lately, and it's been working out for us. Uh, if you saw previous, all we're using is mesquite wood. I fired up my homemade pit, and we're just going to run it over mesquite coals and uh, get her done. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. So these are some onions I like to run whenever I'm making tacos or anything, you know, any taco related. Uh, I'll do some onions. I'll get me a whole onion, dice it up into medallions, and then I'll go ahead and I'll put some butter and some lime juice and any seasoning you'll have available or your favorite seasoning. Wrap it up in foil, throw it on the grill, forget about it, and you'll have some great onions at the end of your cook.
All right, guys, so at this point, we're going to be working on our salsa. I've got a combination of uh, five tomatoes to five uh, serrano peppers. And don't forget, you always got to piss off the pepper for your salsa to come out good. So put your peppers over your coals, piss them off, get them nice and toasty, and they'll be ready to go once your salsa is ready to be put together. Uh, once I get everything all toasted up, I'll get my tomatoes on there, get my serranos, and I'll go ahead and wrap it in some foil with some good cold beer and uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll. Guys, I missed the part where I wrapped up all our peppers and uh, tomatoes and onion, half an onion into a foil paper. But all I did was put all the tomatoes into a foil paper with the peppers, with the onion, with a little bit of beer, wrap it up tight, double wrap, and then throw it back mm -hmm. on the grill. Now we have our machitos sitting on top of our grill grates. Uh, under the coal, we have a better coals and mesquite. And we're just gonna let them ride until we bring them up to a temperature about 145, 155. That's my uh, opinion that I like to cook them to. Other people take them a little bit further. And then we went ahead and baste them with a little bit of butter just to keep the outside crispy, get those uh, little tripitas crispy. And then we just let them ride until we reach our internal temperature. Now we went ahead and we pulled them. I believe our internal temperature was at 155. Now you can go more or less to your liking. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna slice it up. We're gonna put everything together and I'm gonna let y'all enjoy it. Once I did with my salsa, got all our ingredients put together, dropped them in the blender, added some onion powder, some garlic salt, and some regular salt to your liking and you have your homemade salsa. So let's get it going. Let's make these tacos.
here. Can't do it. Can't do it. Stuffed myself. Put a little extra sauce on that one. Lit me up. We got a little cold beer. Alright. Remember guys, this is how I do my take on machitos. People do them differently, different temps, but this is the way that Camp House does them. Hey guys, once again, appreciate all the love and support. Ya tirar botes, no hay más. Let's get it.